It's amazing that something as small as a scratch or even a single puncture wound from a bite could cause a body-wide infection in your pet, but it can. Abscesses form when the skin is damaged and bacteria is introduced under the skin. The body tries to kill off the offending organisms by marshalling its white blood cells to the site. The ensuing battle results in the body walling off the infection. A pocket of infectious organisms, dead cellular components, and liquid is formed. This liquid is called pus, and the pocket is called an abscess. As the abscess pocket grows, it often releases toxic material into the bloodstream. This results in the pet developing a fever, a feeling of lethargy, and usually a tender swelling at the site of the injury. An abscess may suddenly rupture with a gush of fetid material. This will look terrible, but your pet usually feels better with the release of this pressure. You might be tempted as a pet owner to then try and treat the wound at home. This is not in your pet's best interest. Abscesses will frequently heal in one spot, only to appear in a nearby location. This happens when infectious material migrates under the skin, forming a tract of diseased tissue in its wake. The optimal way to treat an abscess is by professional veterinary care. Your veterinarian will evaluate your pet's overall condition. If it's a cat, he or she will recommend testing your cat for feline leukemia and feline immunodeficiency viruses. Both of these fatal diseases are commonly transmitted by fight wounds. Surgical correction may be needed. Special tubes, called drains, might be placed in the abscess pocket to allow the infectious material to escape, or it may be necessary to remove disease tissue from the area. Your pet could be hospitalized for several days of treatment. Your veterinarian will decide what is needed in case-by-case -case basis and discuss treatment options with you. How can you prevent your pet from suffering with an abscess? Keep your dogs on a leash when they're out for a walk. Keep your cat indoors. If you do have outside cats, get them vaccinated for feline leukemia and feline immunodeficiency viruses. Neuter and spay your pets because they're less likely to roam and to get into scuffle with other animals. Need more information on abscesses? Just ask your veterinarian.